All right, creating projects is very, very easy. Let's create our first project. So we go to start. And from the start page, this is where, you know, you can put in all the details um, about your project, the images and things like that. But first you have to log in. So I'm logging in now to the front end of the site. And one thing you have to know is that as an administrator, you have the control over what happens on the front end and the back end of the site. So you, you have the flexibility if you want to, you know, disable someone's account or if you have an abusive user that you want to, you know, whatever you want to do, you have that flexibility. So once you come here to create a, a campaign, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to put in my first music campaign okay so campaign type donations category for music organization uh, individual now max allowed donation what is the maximum that you want to allow for this particular donations just leave it to zero for unlimited and the goal is to raise five five thousand dollars and then the same here for minimum donation amount do you have a minimum amount that you want to receive so we're going to put in minimum five dollars uh, short description let me just add this here Okay, so that's the short description, and for the long description, I'm just going to copy this and then just paste it. But you get the idea here. You can pretty much, you know, add different things to it, and I'm going to add, let me add in here. All right, let me screw it and I'll come back. All right, let me add, just add an image. the flexibility for this you know is really really great so if you have some images that you want to add and I'm just you know just picking our random images right now you can use this here to drag it and once again this works just like an editor so you can you know crop this image you can make it smaller if it's too big, you can, you know, let me just add a space here. Okay, so when do I want this to start? You click here for the date. It pulls up this calendar. So I can start today, July 2nd. And when do I want it to end? I want it to end on... Let me see here. I'm just going to put it to 2015. Oh, wait a minute here. That's too long. So, I want it to end August 2nd. A lot of donations exceed amount. Do you want it to exceed the amount that you've set? Of course, you want pe more people to give. Do you want others to see the donations given for this particular campaign? <clears throat> Excuse me, you can set that to yes. And then you go to next. <clears throat> this is where you can put in your information or the, the people, the users are going to put in their information. Uh, stay, stay. And you can choose your, you know, if you're in the United States, you choose that. If you're from a different country, you can put that there as well. And it allows you to, to choose your city. So I am going to put in my city.
all right so the city is not here and you have other city you can always put it you know check this if your city is not there just click on that checkbox and you can put it here and then the zip code and then the phone number no group name web address PayPal email okay so fill that in there and then click next and it's gonna bring you here okay this is where on Kickstarter let me kick start. Let me go back here. Every donation, every campaign has. I'm just gonna pick a random campaign here. Every campaign they have a give back where if you give, you know, we bring you X Y Z. Where if you you know give a certain amount, you know you get something back for it. That's the same system that's here. So if someone lets us someone get five dollars a quick thank you message, what do you want to give back? And how many quantity is available? So you look at Kickstarter here, they'll let you know. I think some of them are right, for here where it says limited, forty two left of fifty. How many of this is you know are, are available? So I'm just gonna put in here fifty. Now, do I have an image that I want to put with this particular one? No, I do not. And if I want to add more, this button right over here, this blue button, I click on it. And if someone gives $10, more good stuff, man. Quantity, 100. And if I want to add more, so I'm just going to add a few more here. If they give $100, quantity 20 and then add a couple more if they give $1,000 I could jump on my head <laughs> how many of those 15 for those and then if they give $3,000 I could walk like a chicken <laughs> and then quantity for those are just three all right so I, you now that these are created you also have an option here to browse and put a picture next to each one but I'm not going to do that so you, now you just click on next okay so everything is almost there. Now we have to put media. Let me just grab some YouTube. And for the media, you have the video providers, YouTube or Vimeo. And let me put YouTube and I'm going to select the campaign image. So I just downloaded one with the music. Here it is. Okay, here's the music one. Now for the gallery images, I'm just gonna grab a couple other images that I have here for gallery. And you can add, you know, up to six. Remember in the other video I showed you how to add more. If you wanted to to set it so you can accept more than so we're just gonna add one more. Okay. 
so that's it for that but admin's approval is needed so this campaign has to be approved and then for the terms and condition they click yes now once they click on it to give them this nice modal pop-up so they have to read you know the terms and condition and be able to agree agree on it all right so everything there is set show campaign on details page now we're going to show here we're going to show the image or you want to show the video all right let's click save campaign so we just created this first campaign and everything is there now once we go on the back end we're going to see or we should see this particular campaign so let's go to components campaigns alright so we have this campaign now and what's needed for this is and this to be approved it's not shown on the front end yet so this particular campaign needs to be approved so to approve it or to publish it you just click that red X and it's going to publish it but it's not showing on the front page yet so when you click on start again it's not going to show there because we have to we have to connect this discover menu with this particular page so let's go over to menus to the main menu and let's go to discover now before we had just this hashtag here but let's change the hashtag so we can actually connect it connect it with the campaign so you go to jgive and you want to go to all campaigns and from all campaigns whenever someone on the front end let's delete this alias here uh, let's click save first and see how it looks so whenever someone looks at it from the front end let's refresh this the home page before nothing was on the discover page so when you click on discover now let's see what we've got so there you have it and right here it gives people the opportunity to be able to search so this campaign has 31 days remaining and it's raised zero funds and if you notice when you move your mouse on there it highlights the campaign so when you click on the campaign it shows you the the location for it as well when you click on the campaign it's going to give you this video so people can be able to see what the campaign you know is about um, what they can give and what what they when they give something what what is their reward for this one for this one for this one uh, so they can be able to select and choose you know nice there and the more you raise then the more it automatically adds you know to this so let's go ahead and create a few more and then we're going to fill it up now we'll take a look at the gallery this is the gallery that we added and it just goes through the images and you can add up to six that's based on the settings that you put on the back end donation report no donations received yet and this just shows the campaign you know the person that created this particular campaign their information and the donors and so people can also share this here this has a you know a, a Facebook like it has a Google Plus has a Twitter it has a Pinterest and when you click on the share this it has 293 more places that people can actually share your campaign through so which is really really awesome and you know it's really great so let's add a few more campaigns and fill up this page and then we're going to you know go from there